I'm looking at you. Yeah, yeah, you're the one with the bad keybinds, huh? You're the one that drops down into Warzone, gets no kills, and straight back into the lobby. Today, I'm going to give you the easiest and the best keybinds you could possibly use on Call of Duty Warzone. Oh man, you better listen up. These are the easiest keybinds you'll ever have in your life. Whether you're on PC, console, it doesn't even matter. You're going to be dropping frequent 20 bombs and you're going to thank me later. Let's get right into it. All right, so you, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to navigate over to the options tab. You're going to want to click on the movement tab as well. And so the first thing that we're going to see is we're going to have slide behavior as tap. Crouch behavior is going to be toggle, prone, toggle, automatic airborne mantle disabled. You're going to want your sprint tactic tactical sprint behavior on toggle and then I play with automatic tactical sprint this is something you're definitely going to want on mouse and keyboard you're definitely not going to want to manually push you know shift or whatever it, you know whatever the keybind may be you're definitely going to want to just you know push your w key and it's going to automatically tactical sprint for you trust me if you're just now transitioning to it it's going to be super super weird but trust me this is de definitely the setting that you want because it gives you that forward momentum when you're sprinting and so it it you know it mitigates that little delay that you have while pushing you know the you know the shift key or whatever that may be your walk behavior is going to be hold your walk speed is going to want to be 55 percent of normal speed trust me i tested this out basically it just you know it just makes your speed a lot faster when you're walking you know i, I don't even know why this setting exists in this game this is just you know this is just the setting you're going to want to use if you want fast movement you're going to want to use this setting 100 and uh trust me you're not going to want anything else otherwise your movement was going to be super super clunky your parachute auto deploy i have that enabled i mean i'm just a bot i mean you're definitely going to want to have this on hold to use you're going to want disabled and now let's scroll down and let's move on to the main keybinds okay so now we're moving on to the main keybinds and your move forward is obviously going to be w your move backwards is going to be s left is going to be a move right is going to be d now my use key is e i think at default it comes with as f i could be wrong though fact check me in the comments section down below but i'm pretty sure that um e is going to be the easiest keybind you can use and trust me um and, you know it's right there um it's like one of the easiest interactive keys you could be using your jump is going to be space now crouch i get more hate than anything for this keybind please switch this to q q is just super easy to reach it's right there on the other side of the w key it's very easy to reach if you have small hands it's also a very good idea to switch this to q trust me you have to just trust me it's very easy and it's going to be super easy to slide cancel especially with this cracked out movement that everyone's got right now your prone is going to be left control left control basically if you click left control it's going to basically do a drop shot for you and so it's going to be very easy to drop shot and uh, you're going to be able to drop on your opponents change stance slash slide i don't have anything bound same with the sprint and tactical sprint and steady aim i don't have anything there and then my gestures and sprays my main keybind is v if you're a trick shotter like me and you want to throw up a couple gang signs when you're doing some trick shots you can set this to v it's right next to the space bar it's super easy to reach with your thumb and i think that's about it for movement Okay, so now we're going to be moving on to the weapons and equipment and underneath the behaviors tab, the depleted ammo weapon switch is going to be enabled pretty much when you run out of ammo, it just, you know, it just switches automatically to your secondary. Your switch minimum delay is, you know, this is, this is, this varies from person to person. You can pretty much what this allows you to do is you can like, it's like YYing and using your scroll wheel for mouse and keyboard. So I have mine on, on 25. It's pretty quick. So you can, you know, give this a shot. Some people play on zero, but if you're the type of person that switches your weapon with the scroll wheel, or you just like to have it for the clips, you're definitely going to have, you know, something pretty low. And I would recommend to do 25. You know, this is relatively low for, for something like that. Your weapon switch wraparound is going to be enabled your weapon mount shared input is toggle weapon mount keybind your uh, mount movement exit is enabled your weapon mount exit delay is 50 i mean obviously you can play with these um if you want something that's faster i just leave these on default personally i don't even mount anywhere so you know it, i don't think it's going to affect my personal gameplay and i think most of these are pretty much default so let me go ahead and scroll down and give you something that is um super super important for warzone and, and that's going to be armor plate behavior you're going to want this to apply all because if you click your your apply armor keybind which we're going to go through here next it's going to apply every single shield that you have until your your armor you know until it completes three plates or two plates if you're using tempered so you're going to want to click this uh once and not three three separate times to apply all of your plates so this is a very important step i'm pretty sure it comes default as apply one so you're definitely going to want to switch this to apply all okay so now we're going to be moving on to the keybinds for the weapons equipment section your fire weapon is going to be left click your aim down sight 
sight is going to be right click. Your reload is going to be R. Next weapon will be one. Now this is where it varies. If you have two buttons, at least two buttons on the side of your gaming mouse, then you're going to want to bind at least one of those for weapon mounting. If you don't have any buttons on the side of your mouse, you're going to want to choose a keyboard that's easy to reach for you to weapon mount. Most people who play on mouse and keyboard probably don't even have a mounted keybind. Choose something that's, you know, easy to reach, but not really like it, it how often ask yourself how often do you weapon mount and then go from there and then choose a keybind for that but maybe if i could suggest something maybe you could switch to like you know shift and uh maybe you know try that and go from there but for my weapon mount i have the back button on my mouse that I click, it just snaps it right there on the wall. Your alternative fire to switch through the different modes is going to be B. Nobody really, you know, nobody really pays attention to uh, this one at all. Your melee is going to be F right there. Easy to click when you're trying to melee or finish someone. Your lethal equipment is going to be three right there, right above the W key. So it's easy to reach. Same with tactical equipment. That's going to be four. Now, your use armor plate. This one for Warzone is going to be Z. It's right there, right underneath the S key. And it's very easy to just, you know, pull down your ring finger to just reach. Everything is going to be right there by WASD. You guys don't have to worry about at all. Z is a perfect keybind to apply those plates. Night vision goggles. I'm not even too sure why this is a keybind. Don't even worry about this. Field upgrade. That's going to be C. C is right there. Easy to reach for your thumb. Your thumb is also going to be controlling your space bar, your gestures as well. So everything's going to be right there in reach. Mission ability is going to be G. This is just a random default setting that they have. Your weapon inspect, I just have that on I. It's not really something you need within reach. Zoom in and out. I didn't even know these were keybinds, so I guess we're going to do is Y and J. Those are definitely, definitely default, so you can just leave those miscellaneous ones as default. Okay, so now we're going to be moving on to the kill streaks and vehicles, and so under the behaviors tab, we're going to have vehicle camera recenter. I just have this on enabled. You don't really need to have this on. It's not really going to affect how you play. It's pretty much just vehicle behavior, and so I just leave this on enabled. You can leave it as default. It's not going to really affect your gameplay too, too much. Now, if we move on into the keybinds, the thing that is going to be most important is kill streak one, two, and three. And so for the first one, like if you wanted to pop your UAV in Warzone, you can click X. X is literally right there underneath WASD and it's going to be easy to reach. And for use Killstreak Munition 2, I have this set to Z, but this is only set to Z because Modern Warfare, you know, allows me to use Z as my second killstreak. And so with Warzone, it's not going to allow you to have the second killstreak. So you guys don't really have to worry about the crossover there. So, you know, you can, if you're playing Modern Warfare and you're wondering what kind of keybinding to use, I suggest using Z. If we're talking about these, the other, you know, killstreaks, three, four, and munition wheel, we're really not going to be worrying about those just for Warzone. So you guys don't really have to be setting those. Leave those keybinds at default. Everything down here is going to be default these are just you know ground vehicle these are just different kind of keybinds that you can you know set custom to warzone in their vehicles it's not really going to affect how you know, too too much on how to like control the vehicle so if you just leave it at default just fine you don't have to switch them you don't have to custom everything for vehicles it's not like you're going to be in vehicles 24 7 so don't even worry about at all okay so now we're going to be moving on to the overlays and shortcuts in your scoreboard you're going to want that in hold it's just like a quick easy push you can have with that the map behavior is going to be hold as well this is also personal preference not really going to skew on how you play the game but just things to make it easier you know so the map cursor is obviously going to be enabled you want to know where you're going and the inventory is hold system key behavior operating system show scores is going to be tab view objectives tab show map is going to be m ping now this is super important i like to click my scroll wheel if you click the scroll wheel it's going to ping the enemy and it's gonna like ping somewhere on the map this is very important i used to use zero don't use zero pick something else i suggest that you click the scroll wheel it's gonna be super super easy it's right there right beneath your fingers and it's very easy to use anything else here is just gonna be pretty much default again i use push to talk so i'm gonna use one of my mouse buttons in order to use push to talk so again if you don't have two mouse buttons you're gonna want to figure something else out or use an open mic um you know the reason why i say figure something else out is because you know what 
what you can reach on your keyboard. You know how long your fingers are, so please choose something that's relatively close to and something that you can reach and something that um, you would be able to use if you wanted to use push to talk. Again, everything down here beneath the push to talk is just going to be, you know, very default. So don't even mess with these. It's not even going to affect how you play. And that's going to just about do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you know someone who has keyboard and mouse issues and they need keybinds, please send this video to them. It helps me out a lot. And if you guys haven't already and this video helped you a lot, please hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button while you're down there. Place a comment. Let me know if this video actually helped you. And if you guys are in need for a graphics video, I did make a graphics video. I'm going to put it up on screen right now and go watch that video. If you have graphics issues, I explain everything from 1440p all the way down to 1080p. So go watch that video and I will see you guys in the next video.